Hey there guys, it's Morgan from Island Cycles. Coming to you with the first part of a series uh, that's less about motorcycles and more about uh, just getting old and riding motorcycles. Uh, so if you've been paying attention to our channel or our Facebook page, you know that I'm getting a hip replacement coming up here in actually just two days now. And I figured I'd do a little story time as to why that's happening and what's all going on and kind of give you a lowdown of that. So uh, let's start by, it is a complete and total hip replacement. <clears throat> I'm having it done by the Stedman Clinic in Vail, which I'm actually really excited about because they are the best of the best when it comes to athletic orthopedic stuff. And basically what happened was about three years ago, I went to a race, a 24 hour race in Texas called the Gut Buster. And I was really expecting to do pretty well because I was solo in the thing. As you know, if you've watched my Baja 1000 stuff, I've done big stuff. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's many years later, but I'm usually pretty good at suffering. I've always been good at suffering. And I got to the race, I started the race. It was really gnarly, muddy and hard, and I was on an XR650, so like, I'm not taking anything away from the race, but I came apart in the middle of the night and I could not continue. And I don't quit really anything. But I quit because I, I couldn't stand up straight, my back hurt, it was just, it was really, really, really bad and I didn't know what was going on. I figured it was just, you know, I'm getting old and whatever, I need to get my back looked at, something. Anyway, fast forward and maybe six months and I got to the point where I couldn't put my right sock on without doing these crazy contortions and without a lot of pain. And I, I it's funny, you just keep doing things for a long time, <laughs> even though you probably shouldn't. And so I, I finally, I was like, this is ridiculous. I, like my left leg moves right correctly. My right leg does not. So I thought, well, it's probably a, a chiropractor deal. And you know, I need to get my back aligned or my, anyway. So I go to the chiropractor. He's moving me around, trying to, you know, align me and all that stuff. And he says, there's something way worse wrong with you. You need to go see, you need to go get uh, x-rays. Oh, okay, I'll get x-rays. So I get the x-rays, I go back to my chiropractor, hand him the x-rays, he looks at him for, I seriously, like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, he goes, we need to see an orthopedic doctor. And if you know anything about chiropractors, that is not their normal thing. <laughs> they do not normally recommend orthopedic doctors or anything like that, so. I'm like, oh, okay. So he tells me what's up. He says that there's bone spurs and it looks like there's not much cartilage left because the joints collapsed and all this stuff. So, okay. By the way, great chiropractor here in town. His name's Dunnigan. Last name is Dunnigan. Uh, Darren, and he's phenomenal for athletes. So I go see the local orthopedic doc. He tells me my hip is junk, I need to have it replaced, but we can try some injections for the time being to try to get through. I get the injection, I don't know what it was, don't ask me. It was some steroid, I think, and it didn't do anything. Well, okay, it relieved my pain for about a week. And and it still didn't allow me to move my leg right, so I that was a waste of time and money. And so I started looking around. I started trying to find doctors that would do the least invasive surgery possible, like hopefully find someone that can clean it up arthroscopically or do like anything, right? Like, <laughs> but anything without a hip replacement. They all kept saying hip replacement, hip replacement. So finally, I said, all right, I'm going to the guys in Vail. They're the best of the best. You know, I mean, if Ken Roxon uses them, then they're good enough for me. So I, I call those guys up, I send them my images, they get back to me and they're like, you need a total hip replacement. I'm like, all right, I guess if that's the deal, that's the deal. So we began the process, we got the surgery scheduled, and I'm excited because I'm going to 
the best hip guy, I think, in the country. Uh, his name's Joel Mata, and uh, he is like the hip guy. So I'm excited about that. And it's only my right hip, and a lot of people are asking, you know, is it dirt bikes that done this? You know, you know what, what caused all this? And um, I can say that obviously riding dirt bikes and crashing dirt bikes and riding hard has not helped, but I'm 44 years old, and honestly, I've been riding dirt bikes for less than half of that time. And my life prior to dirt bikes was all Climbing, backpacking with huge heavy loads, mountaineering, um, falling off a rock climb, things like so. I've lived a rough life on my body, <laughs> and I think that all of that added up, and then you add in dirt bikes and some pretty horrendous crashes, and you end up with a junk hip. And hopefully, it's only the right one. Maybe I never need the left one. Um, also, you you got to throw in a little genetics in there. Um, although, no one in my family's ever really had any major joint issues because no one in my family's ever been a, uh, quite as active as I am. So, that's where we are. Uh, right now, I am driving to Vail for my pre-op visit. So, I'm going to go meet Mr. Mata for the first time face-to-face -face and go through all the stuff they need me to go through, figure out what's going on. And then on Wednesday, December, or excuse me, on Wednesday, November 27th, I will be getting a brand spanky new hip day before Thanksgiving. And they're telling me it's an outpatient surgery and I'll be going home the same day. <laughs> so that's awesome. I'm really excited about that. And yeah. So guys, if you're interested in seeing how this goes, because I'm gonna film everything I possibly can. I'm gonna try to even get a camera in the OR. I don't know if they're gonna let me, but I'm gonna film the whole process from going up there, going under anesthesia, at least coming out of anesthesia, and then all the rehab and everything going forward. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and get the little notification bell clicked because this could be interesting. I mean, a lot of us have joint problems and hip issues and things like that as we get older. And it might be interesting uh, for you to watch that and find out. It might be something you have to do later in your life. I hope it's not, but you never know. So, cool. I'm going to drive on up to Vail. You guys have a great day. Spread the gospel of two wheels. And please, 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 while the weather is still good, get out and ride your dirt bikes.